Hey, good evening everyone. Today we're going to correct the vocabulary and reading exercises on pages 34 and 35 of our workbook. Now let's begin with vocabulary exercise B. Complete the text with the past simple of the verb in the box. So I will read and translate the text for you. Anna met Luke when she started work. They got to know each other quickly because they sat next to each other in the office. They soon became friends and they discovered and they, that they had a lot in common because they were both sports fans. They went out together a few times after work and they fell in love. They were together for a year. But they argued a lot and in the end they broke up. After that, Anna got a job in a different town and so they lost touch. Ten years later, they got in touch again on Facebook. They were both still single and Mark had changed jobs too. They decided to try again and this time they got on better than before, maybe because they went working together. After six months, Luke proposed and Anna accepted. They got married last spring. A lot of their old colleagues from work came to the wedding. Vale. Anna conoció a Luke cuando ella empezó ¿m? su trabajo, cuando ella empezó a trabajar ¿eh? en una nueva empresa. Eh, ellos se, se conocieron rápidamente, ¿eh? se, se, sí, se conocieron rápidamente porque eh, se sentaban al lado el uno del otro en la oficina. Pronto se convirtieron en amigos y descubrieron que tenían un montón en común, muchas cosas en común, porque ambos eran sports fans, ambos eran aficionados al deporte. Ellos salieron juntos unas cuantas veces después del trabajo y se enamoraron. Estuvieron juntos durante un año, pero se peleaban un montón y al final rompieron. Después de eso, Ana consiguió un nuevo trabajo en una ciudad diferente. De modo que perdieron el contacto. Diez años más tarde se pusieron en contacto de nuevo a través de Facebook. Estaban los dos aún solteros y Mark había cambiado, también había cambiado de trabajo. Ellos decidieron intentarlo de nuevo y esta vez se llevaron mejor que antes. Quizá, quizá porque ellas no estaban trabajando juntos. Después de seis meses, Luke le pidió matrimonio y Anne eh, aceptó. Ellos se casaron la, primavera, la pasada primavera. Un montón de sus antiguos colegas de trabajo fueron a la boda, vinieron a la boda. Ok, so that's exercise B. Let's move on to the reading now. Ok, read the article ones. How many friends does the average American have? Well, let's see. Your friends in numbers. How many friends does the average person have? A researcher at Cornell University in the USA has recently done a study into this question by finding out the num by finding out the number of friends a typical American has. He has just published the results. The researcher interviewed more than two thousand adults, adults aged eighteen and over, in his study. He asked them to list the names of the people they had discussed serious matters with in the last six months. About 48% of the people taking part gave the researcher one name, 18% gave him two, and about 29 gave him more than two. These results contrast dramatically with the news published by social networking site Facebook recently. They said that the average user on the site has 130 friends. The Cornell University study found the average number of friends to be a lot lower. 2.03 to be exact, 2.03 or 2.03 to be exact. The researcher from Cornell has explained that different lies in the definition of the word friend. A friend on Facebook may be a person that the user has met by chance or someone that they will never meet in real life. However, the friends in his study are close friends who participants feel comfortable discussing their problems with. In a similar study conducted 25 years ago, participants had a higher number of close friends. Then the average number was three. Despite the lower number, the researcher does not believe that people are getting more isolated. Instead, he thinks it's a sign that they are becoming 
better at choosing who they can trust with their secrets. This is supported by the number of people in the study who could not think of any names of close friends they would discuss the personal problems with. The percentage of these participants is the same this time as it was 25 years ago. In both studies, just over 4% of the participants gave researchers no names. Apparently, the people who fall into this category are more likely to be men or people with less education. In general, the researcher from Cornell regards his findings as positive. In his opinion, they suggest that, at least in the case of Americans, people are not becoming less sociable. So let's see. Exercise A. Uh, how many friends does the average American have? Do you know? Of course, it's 2.03. Perfect. So that's the correct answer. Now let's read the article again and choose the best answer. So, let's see. Most people in the, in the Cornell University study had spoken about something important with one person. La mayoría de gente es lo había discutido con una persona. Number two, the news published by Facebook is different from the results in the Cornell, Cornell study because the relationships aren't the same. Estas relaciones no son las mismas. ¿eh? No es lo mismo un amigo cercano que un amigo, un amigo íntimo o cercano que un amigo de Facebook. Obviously. ¿Mm? You don't share your secrets with most of your Facebook friends. You only share, share, compartir. You only share your secrets with your close friends. According to a previous study, number three, according to a previous study, people had close friends in the past. How many? More close friends in the past. Eh? Just slightly more. Slightly more. Eh? Ligeramente más. No demasiados, eh? pero ligeramente. Un número superior. Number four. The number of people with no close friends is, it was in the past, is the same as it was in the past. ¿Eh? El número de gente que no tiene amigos cercanos es el mismo que en el pasado. ¿Eh? And then, number five, the results of the Cornell study show that Americans today are as sociable as they used to be. Son tan sociables como solían ser en el pasado. Entonces, el nivel de sociabilidad... The level of socializing hasn't changed dramatically, hasn't changed a lot. It's more or less the same. Es más o menos el mismo. The same. El mismo. More or less. Más o menos. More or less. The same. Good. 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 And now, mm -hmm, let's go to exercise D. We need to complete the sentences with one of the highlighted words or phrases mm, from the text. Let's go. So, number one, I found an old painting by chance while I was cleaning the attic. ¿Eh? Cuando estaba limpiando el ático, el desván, me encontré por casualidad. By chance. ¿eh? You do something by chance when you do it ¿eh? without expecting it. Cuando no esperas que ocurra, ¿eh? lo haces por casualidad. ¿eh? De chiripa. De chiripa. Number two, I... Wouldn't trust my son with my phone. He'll probably break it. ¿Mm? Yo no le confiaría, ¿eh? no, no le confiaría mi teléfono a mi hijo. ¿eh? No se lo dejaría, ¿no? ¿Eh? ¿Por qué? Porque probablemente lo rompa. ¿eh? Lo romperá probablemente. Number three. How much money does the average person earn per year? ¿Eh? The average person, la persona... ¿eh? Media, el ciudadano medio, the average person. Average es una media. ¿eh? Your average score, your average grade. ¿eh? Tu nota media, average score or average grade. Grade. ¿eh? And per year. Per year. Es lo mismo que decir a year. ¿eh? Cada año. Per year. This is just slightly more formal. ¿eh? Un poquito más formal. Number four. They talked about... Serious matters first, and then moved on to the less important things. Serious matters. Asuntos serios. Cuestiones serias. Number five. The richer parts of town contrast dramatically with the poorer out outskirts. 
¿eh? las partes más ricas de la ciudad, las áreas más ricas de la ciudad, contrastan dramáticamente con ¿eh? las eh, afueras más pro pobres. ¿eh? Outskirts son las afueras, ¿eh? las afueras, los suburbios, ¿eh? suburbios, que no se dice en inglés. Suburb, ¿eh? remember that's a false friend, that's a false friend, un falso amigo. Don't trust your false friend. No confiéis en vuestro falso amigo. ¿Mm? Suburbio, ¿eh? Sub, suburb, en inglés, no significa suburbio. Significa urbanización. ¿eh? Es una urbanización. And uh, let's go to number six now. Some teenagers are getting more isolated because they spend so much time on their computers. ¿Eh? They're getting more isolated. ¿Eh? Se están haciendo, eh, se están aislando más. Se están quedando más aislados o se están aislando más. Because they spend so much time on their computers. Pasan mucho tiempo en los ordenadores. How much time do you spend on your computer? More than one hour, one hour a day? More than two hours a day? Okay, please make sure hmm, that you don't spend too much time on your computer. Uh, try to socialize a little bit more. Try to socialize. Talk to your friends or talk to a real person, even if it's on the phone. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.